Hey guys, so we got Christian here with another one. So uh, looking at his feed, his tones, his tones are really distinct. We've got this reddish purple in the shadows and then there's really deep teal blues. So it's quite an underexposed style. So quite, quite dim and dark, a decent amount of contrast, pretty dark blacks, and then the blues pretty strong. And then you get this, this reddish orange to a lot of the yellows. So we are gonna be working with with this one here as well and this one here and we're going to be using the settings from our first one copying and pasting them putting them on the second one and then the third one so you can see the adjustments that need to be made to make the settings work in multiple images multiple lighting scenarios and everyone inside of the course has the DNGs for this tutorial so you get the image and you get the settings already done for you and you can reset those settings and then like follow through in this tutorial and get the exact same results he is also part of my course where he showed his exact process on how he edits so in there he just goes through the exact settings he uses and we have a bunch of his images in the photo bank of the course which is just a place where people can get a bunch of raw images so they can really dial in their editing so we've got a bunch of his images in there so yeah let's try to get these brownish tones these blue tones and if you really want to level up your editing start with my uh, free training down in the description it will teach you that what you need to know about color and lay that first foundation of knowledge of color if you want to get to an advanced level of editing so free training down in the description to get you started if you guys are interested in hearing the stories behind a lot of these photographers that are on this channel then come check out nomadic so they just tell the stories in this community page of photographers for photographers so i'll link them down below and you can come over and they just go in depth on the stories behind a lot of these photographers and it's just a really awesome community page for photographers so highly recommend coming and checking them out links down below guys it's all right so we don't have exactly the same image but this is the image he sent me so pretty close we'll be able to get the same result so as of settings 70 mil just punched in a bit f2 um shutter yeah just exposing the image right nice and bright so don't need a high iso so not too much special going on in the settings we will start turning on the curves now if we go through them as you can see a nice strong s curve because we want lots of contrast throughout the image and then there's a slight favor to the greens and the blues so you can definitely see the blues throughout the image and throughout his feed slight favor to the blues and then a slight favor to like the purples and the shadows you can see that like in our subject and you'll see that throughout his feed as well reds there's less red it's going to bring in a cyan so that's why we get so much cyan throughout his feed as well strong fade to the blacks um, this will all make more sense when we work up here a bit more as it will look a bit better um so strong fade there to the blacks giving that nice shine we shine there uh, as you can see whites taking down those brightest bits just giving that flatness slightly and yeah through the middle it's about the same we want to uh, i can drop highlights um so i want to get my blacks down then we get a bit dark shadow yeah that's good and yeah everyone inside the course remember has this raw image available to download it'll be a dng so the settings will already be applied for you and then reset and follow along this tutorial so we want nice blacks maybe whites up a bit more want some warmth come down here and we can like work with the brightness down here now so there's a new update so like I can bring down shadows here and then I can go like mid-tones and say you can drop the luminance there for the highlights drop them in here as well is also affected by the blending 
So I might bring that across as it brings down the highlights a little more. So it gives a favor to the highlights if you bring it all the way over here. Um, balance, about right. And what's also gonna play a role in our exposure is obviously HSL because this is the brightness of colors. So we're gonna bring this down, uh, especially like the blues, because they're in the sky. Uh, aquas will bring down, blues will actually bring up. Um, red, oranges will bring up to make stuff pop. Four. I always bring purple magenta down roughly. All right, so we obviously want reds to our uh, subject. Oranges, more red quickly work with saturation greens we want basically gone you can see how we really start to get his tones now uh, blues aquas uh, no magentas but I like to bring them down roughly because if I put it onto another image which we'll be doing soon that image might have magentas so I just want it roughly and purples he definitely has strong Purples to the left, but no purples in this image. Just helps um, with all those blues he gets, those teals. Right, teals to those blues. Definitely want that. Aquas. All right, you'll see on another image that we need these aquas to the right. See how these greens go a lot more. We introduce way more of this brown that he has. It's brownish purple by going yellows pretty far across. then right a few more tones in the split toning basically has have its colors but so we'll go mid tones and we'll go pick a nice orange so that's going to help everything pop in terms of warmth luminance noise reduction smooth let's go up and then sharpening We'll bring it down. It just looks too like you can see how fine everything looks over there. So I'm gonna drop the sharpening. Masking. Grain. Now there's a weird update with Lightroom. I can hardly see the grain it's putting in. This is a hundred grain, and now it looks pretty sim similar to his. But if I export it, it'll look like f so grainy. So I'm gonna go about that and I reckon once I export it it will look like his in terms of grain this image his image and then we swiped across on the carousel to this image the whites could use a bit of flattening just the sky like something like that I think we're good like these greens go this bluish tone get those bluish tones in the greens back there well here's our before and after and yeah we're about done so what we're going to do now so copy another one of his Let's go, so this is what the tones look like at the moment. We want all these reds again to the yellows, we want those teal blues, those deep blues. We've got quite a bit of greens at the moment that we don't really want, dark blacks. So let's paste the settings from our last one. Drop the contrast. I think in our previous one, we should have dropped the clarity as well. So if we come back here, I think we should have dropped the clarity that's what would help get that fineness I was talking about earlier so I should have done that we are still looking very blue and we want all these warmer tones so warmth I'm gonna bring up and we obviously need crop real quick blacks this photo is quite a bit closer to the ground well the water so we don't get so much glare but if we just brush all along here and then press O to get rid of our red and then if we say dehaze and saturation bring back way more of those blues okay maybe contrast up a bit blacks up too much grain again this this should be f down here I don't know why Lyron it's being weird let's go highlights down whites possibly down I'm pretty happy with that I could see these going cross across I don't know how he got the jacket orange 
I think that could be brushed in because if we come to HSL, we go like this, they're definitely registered as the same color. So getting these blacks a bit darker. So we could come in here and I didn't show you these curves as well, the previous one, but I might drop the shadows just to bring a more contrast at the bottom of the kayak. too cold but I could see these totally being next to each other in a carousel so we copy let's go to a last image so here's another one of his images let's go paste the settings that we just did for the last couple bring down exposure straight away you can see we got the right tones let's crop a blues in the background could come out a bit so like I could come here saturation uh, maybe blue still down but aquas, greens could come back. No, greens down still. Maybe some more blue in the highlights. So we get more blue back there. So we could maybe go highlights. A tiny bit of blue. Background gets a bit blue. Touch less exposure. Yeah, that's pretty darn good. So if you're in the course, you'll just have these uh, images to work through yourself uh, yeah and just for settings this was f4 24 mil iso nothing too special going on there um f4 just because it's a building kind of big iso isn't too high settings for the other one um was just 2.8 quick shutter iso low because it's nice and bright a little bit of just softness towards the back being 2.8 then a quick shutter and that will just be exposing you'll just have that at whatever it exposes correctly for the image we started with this shot before after then we went to this one before that's what the tones look like like that this to this the course here for those that are interested in really leveling up, leveling up your editing getting really really detailed into all these adjustments and the reason we do these adjustments so come over here and what you'll see first of all you can sign up to the free training and then in this video here i explain the three stages of learning to get to an advanced level of learning to be able to just look at a style and be like oh yeah that that image needs this that image needs that so come watch this one and I explain how you need to understand color first, the tools first, and then follow guest editors and really hone in your style. And then if you come down, I explain the power of DNGs, why they were one of the one things that just massively leveled up my editing and allowed me to get this good at editing so fast and how you can do that too and how dngs will help you do that this is where you can watch all of the guest editors every single person that takes us start to finish of their editing process not me guessing they are explaining exactly how they do it and down here i explain the difference between youtube videos and the course so someone asked why should i buy the course when i could watch your youtube videos this video here explains the difference just so you have some clarity and then down here definitely come over and watch this one because this is a full walkthrough of the course what it looks like when you log in the different uh, sections of the course we have all the student testimonials so we've got a student interview we've got what video testimonials so the guest editors what they are saying about the course and then just obviously everyone's reviews here so uh come over here check it out do the free training comment down below who you guys want to see so i can go through the comments reach out to them ask them to be a part of this youtube channel yeah thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one i'm going to be working on some video content as well i want to get back into doing some video color grading and cinematic travel and doing some bit more shooting myself yeah that's all for now guys catch you in the next one